Hello knitters! Uh, this video will help you to knit a raglan sweater from neck down. It is very detailed and I had to break it into three parts. Uh, the raglan part, the body part and the sleeve part. So let's go and knit the raglan part. We will uh, cast on uh, 64 stitches and uh, we will actually work in several steps and our first step is to knit the collar and then we will start adding stitches for sleeves and front and back. And um, uh, if you forgot how to cast on or bind off or anything like that, I will provide a link to my playlist with several videos that would go and refresh your memory. So cast on 64 stitches and we are actually knitting from top, from neck area to the bottom. I have casted on 64 stitches uh, and um, now we will knit entire row and as you see I am working on the long needles, on the regular straight long needles and uh, later on after I knit this one row I will transfer stitches to my double pointed uh, needles and if you prefer working on circular needles you will transfer your stitches to uh, circular needles. Okay. So we will knit entire row. This yarn is a little stretchy so um, it's going to be uh, the first couple of rows are going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, to put my needles through because uh, the way I cast it on it was kind of a little, little tighter than I would expect with a regular yarn. With a regular um, twisted yarn I will actually show you what I mean. You see this um, this yarn is kind of woven Bow woven <laughs> in a circular, um, you know, circle, circular way, and you see how it stretches. So that's that kind of yarn. There are other yarns that, if you go and uh, take the ones that are twisted, actually they look twisted. Um, they don't stretch like that. So I have transferred my stitches to double pointed needles and I, I am making sure that it's not twisted in these corners right in here. And also I want to explain why I have it um, uh, transferred like this uh, where I have 26 inches here, 6 inches here, 26 inches here and six inches here. These, these stitches are going to be increased and they will be sleeves and these stitches are going to be uh, increased and they will be front and back. Okay, so now I need to turn my needles up and start knitting. Now Make sure that it's not twisted. So this is has, this has to be this way. Now my yarn has to be back there. Okay, and we will move our knits to the tips, and we will start knitting. So I will twist this. Uh, cast on first stitch a few times and then knit 
this okay come on let's go here and knit these two stitches together okay oops I need to be using actually different a different needle I'm supposed to be knitting with a different needle my fifth needle okay there we go and so okay so let's go and knit three more rows if you want your uh, collar to be a little taller you can actually knit more than three um, rows but I will knit three rows okay so you just knit all around three more rows that will be total with this first row total four rows um, now you also can go and use a counter you will probably it will be probably very good to use counter with knitting sweater because uh, you can get you can lose count of your rows and I will show you how to use the counter I will have to fetch it but um, uh, let me just go and do one more needle here okay and you go and keep knitting um, until the end of the row and I will show you how to use that counter and how to start a new row okay so I finished my uh, last stitch and uh, of my second row and I will just continue knitting a third row but I also promised that I'm gonna show you how to use the uh, counter so I uh, knitted already two rows so you just uh, I have this uh, counter that uh, is you know pretty easy to use you just click for each row you click once so I had two rows so I click twice right now when I finish knitting my third row I will click my third row okay so um, I always click when I'm finished with the row and if I put my sweater down and or anything that I'm knitting and then I want to uh, knit later on and um, uh, and I don't remember the rows how many rows I had where I s finished I look at my counter I look at my counter and I'm like okay I finished my third row uh, so now I have to start knitting my fourth row so always finish your last row before you step away from your knitting and uh, you know don't forget to click your last knitted row and and then you're um, you know ready to go to uh, start your project uh, a day later two days later and a few hours later whenever okay so and this is being very twisty okay let me go and do it this way and just knit right and um, people uh, that knit uh, the English way English style you again I will show you it's exactly the same and I have also a video for that that you just push the needle there and you wrap the yarn around I do the same thing except that I don't hold yarn in my right hand I left the working yarn in my um, left hand with on my over wrapped around my finger on the left hand okay so it's exactly the same thing except uh, my way is a little faster because I don't have to do that extra motion okay 
So that's all. So this is my third row and when I finish my fourth row I will show you what uh, I will add a little accent to um, to the color where I will knit uh, I will purl one row and this is in my way here and probably in your way too. I finished my fourth row and actually I had to transfer my knit to 8 inch long uh, double pointed needles because my 10 inch uh, DPNs were too long so it's going to be easier to knit now uh, these, these uh, short and when I need to I will transfer them to uh, to my longer ones uh, back when I have uh, many more stitches. Anyway, so now I just wanted to show you that I knitted four rows, okay? And our fifth row is going to be purl. So we move the yarn forward, right? And, and we make a purl stitch and a purl stitch and a purl entire row okay and people who knit English style again you need to put uh, yarn in the front okay I got it here and you wrap it around this way yep okay you go for the yeah, uh, needle in the front and you wrap it and then you push back. Okay, so that's um, that's it and so do entire row of purling and you will have this little um, little wavy accent there around the collar and then we will do one more row of uh, knit and then we will start adding uh, adding stitches uh, to um, to increase for our sleeves and front and back. Okay, I finished my fifth row um, where I purled entire row and so we go and click that it's our uh, fifth row is finished and now before we start increasing we will knit knit not purl knit entire row so knit 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 so i'm finished with my sixth row knitted sixth row we will click okay and we will start knitting increasing but also I wanted to mention that if you are working on um, circular needles you would have markers between these stitches so you would have um, 26 stitches here marker 6 stitches marker 26 stitches marker and six stitches and marker okay so you would do that in this last uh, knitted row and and then you would start increasing because you need to mark your position we will always knit this stitch before the marker and you know on my needles last stitch and first stitch and we will do all the increases right before those two stitches so if you have a marker and you have a circular needles you will need these two uh, stitches but you will increase right here okay and I think at some point when I have enough stitches knitted I will show you one row how I am doing it so if you're watching the video, you might have to uh, later on, uh, all the people that are knitting on circular needles, you will need to go and jump onto the uh, uh, 
onto the area you know of the of this video where I'm showing how to uh, how to increase uh, on circular needles. Anyway, so we will knit this stitch because this is my corner, so I will always knit first stitch and we will increase after first knitted stitch but we need to increase to the left and we need to pick this yarn right here okay between these stitches the yarn that is connecting this stitch and this stitch uh, I actually this stitch and this stitch okay so we need to knit to the left let me see that goes to the right this one goes to the left you see how it's going this way it's going to go to the left we're going to knit through the back loop where you insert your needle I can't do it hello oh, one of these days okay there okay through the back loop and you just knit it through the back loop and you see how it's going how it's slanting upwards to the left that's our uh, left slanted increase between the uh, stitches from previous row okay now we will knit all the stitches on this needle until this last stitch we will not knit this last stitch so knit all the way there so knit, knit, knit. So I knitted to my last stitch and like I said we will always increase between this and this stitch. This, this we would have a marker on a circular needles so we would need this, these two stitches right but we need to increase in f before this and after this stitch okay so now we will increase with the right slanted stitch and right slanted stitch is that we go from the back we pick up that yarn in between these two stitches from previous row we pick it up from the back okay I will show it one more time because this needle was in the in a, in the way. So we will pick it from the back, and then let me go and just okay. I always stretch it forward. Hold the hold this uh, stitch with my thumb so it doesn't escape, and then I am able to put my needle in and knit the stitch. Okay, so you will, if you're working in uh, English style, you might have to find a different way how to grab that stitch. And now you can see, you can see that actually that stitch that we are making is slanted upwards to the right. Okay, that's what we want. And knit a regular way okay now we will knit the first stitch again and increase after the first stitch and again we will increase left so on each on each needle you will increase after first stitch to the left and you will increase after before last stitch on that needle to the right okay so we need to increase to the left so let me see where is our stitch is right here this is our stitch now this would go to the right so we need to go to the left you need to go and insert the needle under this yarn from the front okay and you can see already it's going up for that way and then you just go and grab that yarn through the back loop okay through the back loop and you knit it and you knit four stitches here four stitches and now this is our last 
stitch and in front of it we will increase to go to the right this way okay so I just again make sure that I can get in there with my let me go and move this out of the way make sure that I can get in there with my needle and I knit in a regular way you know from the from this okay and and there we go we are going right it's slanted to the right and we need last stitch okay and again now we will work on this needle and again this first stitch has to be left slanted last stitch has to be right slanted okay left slanted right slanted so we will knit first stitch and if we do left slanted we go from uh, from the front from the front left slanted you insert needle under that um, yarn between the stitches from the uh, front and then you knit 24 stitches on this this is going to be either back or uh, front okay now I am here at the end and like I said this has to be left slanted this has to be right slanted so we will go from back right slanted we have to go from back okay let me move this a little bit down so you can see better okay so from the back and I always pull this over so I can get in there and grab that yarn and make a stitch okay good and we need the last stitch and this is our last needle where we need to increase and we have to knit first stitch and we increase left so we go from the front and through the we will knit through the back loop okay good and now we knit four stitches and we go from back we grab the yarn from back to do the right slanted stitch and we knit it from the front okay and we have that slant going to the right and knit last stitch okay and we are finished with all needles that we were supposed to increase so in each needle we increased by two stitches we increased on the right and left again we increased here and here we increased here and here and we increased here and here and uh, so we increased by eight stitches the next row we will knit entire row no increases okay let's go and tell ourselves that we just did seventh row okay it's very important that you don't forget to mark your rows so I will knit entire row no increases this is our eighth row and no increases and just knit 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 entire row I am finished with my eighth row and our ninth row is going to be increasing again so as you see we knitted four rows here fifth row was the uh, pearl 
uh, then we knitted one more row that was our sixth row and increased in seventh then we knitted one row which is eighth so every odd number every odd row we will increase and this is our ninth row and again we will do the same thing like what we did in seventh row we will knit the first stitch and increase after it and this has to be left slanted and we go from the front okay and we knit that stitch just push it in there and knit it through the back loop and now we knit all these stitches and I will knit very fast I don't think you really need um, you don't need me to show you how to do the knit stitch um, I don't want to waste too much time of the video it's gonna be a really long video so um, I might even cut it out I don't know okay we are and we're here and then we increase to the right make one to the right before the last stitch on this needle or before uh, before the marker you would have marker here right and we go if we want to go uh, right slanted we need to grab the yarn from the back okay and then pull this yarn forward and knit it from front not through the back and then knit the last stitch on the needle if you're using um, double pointed needles okay and again the same thing again you need first stitch this is here on the right you do left slanted on the uh, on the right of this uh, needle you do left slanted and we need to go from front I always forget how I'm supposed to go okay and through the back loop okay so we can see that left slant and then we knit six stitches and then we increase before the last stitch on the on this uh, needle or you know before before the last stitch between the uh, marker okay and we need to go from back and knit pick up the yarn from the back and knit from the front through the front regular way and then knit the last stitch between markers or on the needle now do this again knit first stitch left slanted so you pick up yarn from front knit through the back loop knit all the stitches to the last stitch on this needle or to the last stitch before the next marker okay I will knit fast I don't need to show you how to do a knit stitch anymore okay almost there almost there okay and because we're on the left side of the needle or before the next marker we will pick the yarn through the back okay and knit the stitch from the front to make that right slanted pattern and knit last stitch and this is our last needle in the ninth row again we knit the first stitch on the needle or first stitch after the marker on circular needles pick the yarn from the front to make left slanted stitch okay knit 
six stitches because we increased by two. Okay, we have last stitch in here. We pick from back to make the right slanted stitch and we knee knit it from the front, not through back loop, from front and we knit the last stitch. Okay, and this is our, we finished our ninth row and we're ready to knit tenth row. Okay, so I have finished my tenth row where I knitted entire row and I am ready to do my eleventh row and again do everything the same way like in seventh and ninth row. That means knit first stitch, increase after knitting first stitch, knit all these stitches knit all these stitches to the last stitch, increase uh, right slanted, over here we increase left slanted, okay, over here increase left slanted and then knit the last stitch and again on this for the sleeve, on a sleeve area, again knit first stitch, increase left slanted right after that stitch, knit these stitches to the last stitch, increase before the last stitch, right slanted, knit the last stitch and again repeat the same thing on this one, okay, knit first stitch, increase left slanted, knit all these stitches to the, to, to the last stitch, increase right slanted, knit the last stitch and do the last increase, fourth increase on this um, on this needle. Again, knit first stitch, left slanted increase, knit these stitches regular way, increase before the last stitch to the right, right slanted increase, and then this, and then repeat again the row, just knitted row. And so this is how you should continue knitting until you have desired length from the neck area to your, because this is going to be like this, this is going to be the top, okay, this is going to be the top and you will want to measure from here to your armpit area straight down. Okay, so I'm going to continue knitting like this uh, and I have to actually stop knitting because it's getting dark. I don't have a proper lighting. Um, so I will see you when I have a certain amount of stitches and I will tell you how many times I have done it. So we repeat it. Uh, increase in one row and knit another row. So let's say the a row would be the increase row and then B row would be just knit all around without increasing. So I would go and repeat A and B rows several times. So far we have done it two times. Okay, hello again a uh, couple days later and uh, I am starting to videotape uh, a little bit again. Uh, just wanted to go and show you how much I have done so far. Uh, this is about 42, this is not about, this is exactly 42 rows altogether and as you see I had to put my uh, sweater on several um, double pointed needles. I had these short ones, these are uh, I think 8 inch and these are 10 inch uh, needles and I always knit, here I have four as you see and I knit with my fifth one and here I have also four and I knit with fifth one as well. And actually right now I will be putting my knit on these circular needles that I started before 
and um, show you where the um, markers should be which like I said before they should be in these corners right here in this corner then in this corner this corner right here okay and on in there so just to show you how you should go and have it set up on your double I mean circular needles if I said double pointed needles for forgive me <laughs> sometimes I, I make mistakes I think too fast so I just will start putting moving the stitches sliding them on circular needles okay just like you would go and push them from this needle to this needle and when I get to my first corner right here I will put a marker because this is not our corner okay this is like an extension imagine this would be one really long needle but I needed two because my stitches would be uh, slipping okay so I will show you how to uh, put those markers uh, in between um, those corners okay okay here we are in first corner okay I put my marker in and I continue moving those stitches on my circular needles also you could have done that you know um, a long time ago um, be, you know when you started over here if you have a uh, short very short uh, circular needles I really like uh, double pointed needles better but maybe I'll get used to working with these okay here we are again in the corner and we take our marker and put it there and when I'm finished I will show you how to knit with uh, circular needles moving those markers okay okay here I am I am I have transferred all my stitches on circular needles and as you know this is our beginning because this is where this is our tail and I am starting to knit 43rd row so we need to put our marker here although we already know that this is our um, area but um, so we do not get confused when we knit that first stitch right so it's better to have that marker right there so we know which stitch is what so we need first stitch and now we need a left okay left um, stitch left make one left and so we knit one and it's left slanted and now we will knit all the way until the next marker okay and here I am again in the I finish with my first section because this all around has four sections so the first section is finished and we need to do increase so it's going to be right slanted increase so we need to pick the yarn from the back and pull this yarn a little bit hold it with your thumb so you can get in there and knit the stitch okay and then knit the last and move the marker okay and this is what I don't like when I have to push it onto the needle that's what I don't like but I'm dealing with it and uh, okay so now I knitted one and I have to increase almost forgot to increase so this is gonna be left slanted so we pick the yarn from the front and knit it 
Okay, and continue knitting all the way to the last stitch before next marker. And this is our sleeve. Also, I wanted to tell you that I am, I already measured from the neck, from the neck area here, from here to here, and I have about six and a half inches. So I still have uh, uh, several more rows to do. And I want to reach about eight, eight and eight and a half probably um, inches. And when I reach that, I will, I will start working on sleeves and front back, okay, and you know, body part body area okay so here we are no not yet two more two more stitches one two okay and we are ready to uh, do the right slant so from the back okay okay here we go and and knit the stitch regular way not through the back loop and now now we go knit the last stitch and move move the um, marker and knit next stitch and this is gonna be left slanted so we pick it up from front and knit it through the back loop Okay, and so you need to do several more increases like this and when you are finished then I will go and show you, I will tell you how many more increases approximately you should do. Um, and when we're finished I will show you how to connect sleeves and how and the, you know, how to distinguish sleeves and basically the body uh, area, body part, okay? So as you see, uh, my knit measures 7 inches now and I need to reach about 8 for a size small and hopefully it's going to be also size small across. Um, if it's going to be a little wider than I really anticipated then uh, for you people who like size small, you would need to do less stitches here around the neck, okay? So instead of starting on, let's say, 64 stitches, you would start on 60. Uh, I have finished my 48th row and this measures almost 8 inches and I am kind of afraid that it's going to be very tight in underarm so I will knit f at least four more rows maybe even six more rows but I will not increase anymore okay so I just instead of increasing in a in my 49th row I will just knit uh, all stitches same amount same number of stitches uh, all around, um, you know, f from beginning to the end, and I will do that four, maybe six times, okay, probably four times. Now, I also uh, finished my um, graph over here. This is the row where I increased to 68 stitches uh, for the front and 48 stitches for sleeve and again 68 stitches for back and 48 for sleeve which is taking us to total stitches 232 stitches all around okay and I think that 232 stitches are, is starting to be a little bit uh, too wide um, around the chest maybe so I decided to uh, knit just same amount of number stitches all around for four more rows okay 
uh, and maybe six more rows. So, so this is what we need to do. We will knit four more. Oops, I forgot to put my marker here. Uh, here is my marker. Okay, and let's just knit four more rows and measure. And when I measure and I have about eight, if I have eight and a half inches, then I will stop and I will show you how to deal with um, sleeves and back and front connecting together. I have knitted four more rows without increasing, uh, just like I said, and uh, I have decided uh, that I will knit with my blue color now because I am um, at the end of my second skein with the gray uh, gray yarn and uh, it I don't have any more so I have to continue with my blue color um, also I do have 52 rows all together just to uh, remind you um, that 48 plus 4 is 52 rows okay so let's go and knit now two more rows with blue yarn or uh, if you are going to be knitting just just with one color um, then you just do it with with the uh, with the yarn that you have okay So I just will knit two more rows all around. I am finished with my two rows uh, with my uh, different color and actually I am um, I can go and cut this off because I don't need that anymore. Let's leave a tail a little. We will leave um, we will weave it in later on. And I am ready to connect back and front together and make sleeves separate. So if you look at um, the, this sweater, this is the sleeve area which I just finished knitting. Okay, and my front or back, whichever it is, uh, is uh, next. And then I have sleeve again. So, but if I want to connect front and back together, I have to first start knitting this front. Let's say this is front, okay? So, uh, right after you finish knitting two rows and you get to your uh, starting point, go and knit to the next marker. Okay? 